All right, guys, Sean here. We have another um, 2004 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. This is a FLHTC UI for Ultra Classic fuel injected at the very end. This bike is in amazing shape. It does have, it's got the Screaming Eagle pipes. This bike, I forget exactly who it was, but they were telling me that he was owned by the, uh, the, um, you know, like some Harley Davidson club of, I don't know, York or something like that. But this bike has been extensively, meticulously maintained at Appalachian Harley Davidson. Um, they they showed me a, uh, on the computer how many service records it had on there. It, it was it was insane. And this bike has had the engine rebuilt, and they showed me it was about like 27,000 miles ago. No, 25,000 miles ago. Uh, the bike itself has 99,000 miles, and it runs incredibly well. It's got the big bore kit, the 1550 kit. All Screaming Eagle parts. It's got a uh, EFI race tuner kit. There's the race tuner thing. And then here's the um, here's the old uh, here's the original pistons that came with the bike. That all comes with it. Two key fobs, the manual. This bike is in incredibly good shape. It is the uh, it is the Glacier Pearl, which if you see it at a certain light, you can see it's got it's got a hint of blue to it. Really, really cool color. And then he had this custom this custom American flag stuff uh, put on there, and it, it's actually. It's still in really good shape. Did the few little chips in the in the American flag part. Got some little feathers down there. I'm not sure what they represent. Um, guys, this bike runs good. It's got really nice tires on it. This thing was meticulously maintained. Like it, I mean, it's it's incredibly clean. He also has this um. This dashboard stuff, and then these—it looks like these are uh, like Screaming Eagle um, gauges on here, because those are not the stock the stock gauges for this bike. And they look super awesome. Let's uh, let's do what we normally do, guys. Check out the test drive video for this bike. Let's do what we normally do. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you all the little uh, flaws, anything I can find. I'm gonna let you guys know about it. Start with here. Very, 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 very light scratches on the metal. No, um, no rash down here. Like I said, screaming eagle pipes. No, no rash on the bottom of them. A little bit of, a little bit of scraping right down there. Actually, a little bit of scraping on this side too. Very light bags. No damage on the bottom of the bags. Up here, a little tiny, little tiny thing right there. My nail's not even catching up. My nail's barely catching it. A little tiny thing right there. The seats look good. These speaker covers aren't all faded out, which normally happens to these bikes. This stuff, this tour pack is in really nice shape. Little tiny, little tiny crack. Right there, and then a little tiny chip in the paint right there. A little tiny chip in the paint right there also. Really, really good, good looking bike. Here's the controls for the, uh, the speakers, for the rear speakers. He's got cool aftermarket Harley Davidson lower boards, of course. There's a little, uh, little crack in the uh, chrome right there engine looks good didn't see any leaks or anything when I came in the tank looks great 
a little tiny, a little tiny scratch right there. Very hard to see. Over here on the uh, on the lowers, we do have some some chips, chips, chips. Some more chips. A little bit of, a bit of damage right here. That's uh that could be from riding though. Getting low in the corner. <clears throat> Can't blame the guy for that. <clears throat> These lowers actually look pretty good. There are you know little <coughs> little chips but for a bike with 99,000 miles. I'm actually pretty impressed. Tires look good. Brakes look good. These uh these lowers are actually normally you would expect to be more pitting on the lowers. The front fender looks good. Not really seeing any damage on there. Normally these uh these little bumpers are all rotted out. These look like they've been replaced. They look very good. You know, there's some pain on the lowers. You've got some some chips on this lower fairing. A lot, of, a lot of bugs still on there. I don't do a very good job of cleaning these bikes. I just move them. And the, the upper fairing actually looks really, really good. It almost makes me think that this guy had a uh, had a cover on it, but there's no way he would cover up the uh, the eagle. So I'm not sure how he kept it so clean. I mean, this is incredibly nice. He must have cleaned it a lot. I mean, it, I I'm, I'm almost not finding any imperfections inside the uh, inside the pearl white paint. And the only stuff I see up here is just chips that took out of like took out of the uh, the uh, the special paint. Really nice looking though. Let's come over here. It's not even faded at the top anywhere. A little bit, of, a little bit of stuff right here. Um, let's come down here. This side of the tank looks really good. No, no mix or scratches or anything like that. The engine looks great. Like I said, they did do a 1550 big board kit on this thing. The only reason the guy decided to sell it is because he found a uh, CVO that he just had to have. <clears throat> really, really nice looking bike. Look, look inside there. It shouldn't be that clean inside there. That's, that's incredible. Seats are in great shape. Paint's in amazing shape. Still has good uh, PA inspection. This tour bag, there's no uh, no damage anywhere on here. That looks nice. This is for the uh, for the comm system. One's for the comm system, one's for the uh, the speakers. I'm not sure which one. Here's the uh, little bit of cracking up here, which is normal for the tour pack. A little bit of scuffs down here. I could probably clean that up. A little bunch of little stuff. <clears throat> Back here looks real nice. There's a little chip or a piece of tar. It's a little bit of tar. Back here looks really good. This thing is a little bit. This this bumper was not been replaced. You see, it's got a little bit of dry rot in there. Hard to see unless you're down on the ground. Tour pack looks real nice. Looks like there's a sticker or uh, something right here. So this, actually, this is a sticker right here. And there's just dirt in and around it. That could be cleaned up. All right, guys, this is a killer looking bike. I love the color. And if you like everything about this bike, but for some reason you didn't like the uh, this flag stuff, or maybe the big one on the upper. It's really not that big of a deal to get that painted over. I mean, what they would do is they would use this this pinstripe line as the line, and then they would they would uh, you know sand the top, and then just paint that top piece. It's not that big of a deal. Same thing with the uh, with the front fender. I don't know. You you can't complain about this. How, how could you? How could you not like that? It's kind of cool looking. Um, 
Alright guys, let's fire this thing up. A little backrest. Look, this bike is cold. I'm grabbing at the exhaust like a stone cold. We're gonna fire this sucker up. Guys, this bike will sell very fast. You can see I got a bunch of other Ultras or uh, Electroglides. Uh, every time I get these higher mileage Electroglides, I sell them cheap, I sell them fast, they blow out of here. Most of them get shipped all over the country. Um, all right guys, check out the uh, test drive video.